Yes, it has been revealed that a prominent Yoruba leader, uh, one of those agitating for a or for the Odudua nation, has actually given plans of what terrorists is about to do to Redemption Camp, Winners Chapel, and others, and uh, other people in uh, Lagos, Nigeria. Well, how did they know about this? I really don't know, but I'm very sure we'll find out in this report. And sure you stay tuned, relax, and also get the best. And of course, this is Saffron Media, and we are here to give you the best, the most trending, exciting, reliable, and authentic happenings in Nigeria, especially in the area of politics and many more. So, so ensure you stay tuned, relax, and get the best right here. Well, let us dive right into the details of this report and see where this terrorist attack is coming from and why they are going to Redemption Camp and uh, Winners Chapel to unleash their terror. All right, guys, without further ado, it says that Professor Banji Akintoye, a second Republic senator and a renowned historian, has alerted governors in the southwest that the entire region has been invaded and encircled by terrorists. According to the report, the leader Ilana Omo Odua, an umbrella, umbrella body for Yoruba self-determination groups, informed the governors in a letter written to them that the terrorists plan to carry out the coordinated attacks on Southwest any moment from now. The renowned historian then counseled the government to begin to make moves to scuttle the plans attacks by the by the, to scout the planned attack by the criminals adding that the hoodlums had perfected plans to attack important places in order to wreck the economy of the region speaking further Kintoye in the statement also revealed that the redemption camp winners chapel headquarters deeper life bible church camp mountain of fires camp synagogue church of all nations headquarters and the prestigious Central Mosque buildings in Lagos and Ibalo are among the targets of the terrorists, saying the religious leaders should immediately begin to set up securities around those premises. The statement reads in part, in combination of Fulani terrorists, Boko Haram and ISIS have occupied Niger, Niger State, which is immediately north of Yoruba land, thereby providing for themselves very easy access into the Yoruba land through the Yoruba parts of Kwara and Kogi states. To corroborate the claim, Akintoye reminded Nigerians how recently the U.S. issued a statement that East East had infiltrated southern Nigeria from the sea, saying that, saying that meant that the coast of Lagos Ogu and Undo states have been infiltrated. Consequently, diverse reactions have continued to trail the new re revelation and warning, while many urge the federal government, Southwest governors, and the religious leaders not to take the warnings with levity or with levit hands. Others argue that there was no way terrorists could be able to carry out such attacks in the Southwest region meanwhile recall that recall that the southern governors forum on tuesday argued the urged the federal government to urgently convoke a national dialogue to address the widespread agitations in the country the governors also expressed grave concern on the nation's current security challenges and urged president muhammad buhari to address Nigerians on the, uh, on the challenges and restore the confidence of the people. But in your thoughts, do you think this revelation could be true or it's just a false alarm? Well, you can obviously see because uh, the way things are happening, could this really be a false alarm or something? Because, you know, once there is uh, information, because we can obviously see that the situation of the country is really, really uh, getting out of hand. And it's really serious because the way things are happening is, you know, unbearable. And it seems to be getting worse by the day because, um, you know, the president and uh, the presidency 
have actually not been taking the citizens seriously and this has made there to be you know lapses in so many areas because we seem to be like you know all of the uh, security chiefs and all the security seem not to be able to handle Boko Haram and now there's information that they are already covering the southwestern parts of the country and you know what that means that uh, the southwestern region is one of the uh, biggest parts aside the north one of the other biggest parts in Nigeria and you know once they invade the southwest most of the investment in southwest would go down as well because if this is not handled quickly, it's going to be really, really terrible and going to be so bad. So I just hope that the president is hearing all of this and all of those involved are getting to put security in places so that there will be checks in those areas. Because if that do not happen, it's really going to be serious. I mean, very, very serious. Because the situation of things is getting worse and it seems like they cannot really handle it in any way. And now uh, it is about to affect even uh, Redemption Camp. You know how Redemption Camp is? That place is it is like a city of its own. And you know how Kenalan is as well. And even Doubt of Mountain of Fire and the others. And now there's an alarm that everyone in those areas should be very careful because the terrorists are all over the place in the southwest. Could we say this is just a false alarm? Or could we say this is something to call home? Or this is something to call uh you know again so that there won't be any form of there won't be any form of uh you know backwardness in all of this because if we continue to be quiet about these things it's going to eat down into the economy and now it's eating deep into the churches as well because if those church are attacked you know so many other little churches that will be attacked as well if those big churches are attacked it's going to be really terrible i know it is not going to happen no matter the alarm that is being uh, sent out by you know whoever and whatever information i know god is still on the throne and is not asleep so definitely it's not going to happen but all the same that is not enough reason for us to just fold our hands and sleep like nothing is going to happen they must put securities in those places anywhere that there will be large gatherings supermarkets places like shop rights you know a lot of very big places where you have thousands of people you know shopping at the same time in those places a lot of security should really be in those places so that there won't be any form of uh, lives being lost in those areas if there's anything that has to do with terrorist attack in those places so well, I just hope that all this pretty end soon and uh, let there be peace again in the country. So my dear friends, that is it. Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to drop your comments and also give this video a thumbs up. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.